Hey all, this is just a short video uh, where I'm giving a tour of the uh, different equipment that I use on my bike packing adventures. Um, at the end of the video, there's uh, some photographs of the things I carry in the bags. And, you know, to be honest, the reason I took the pictures was so that I could remember what I put where. Uh, anyway, if you like the video, you find it useful, please give me a thumbs up. Thanks. bit of a tour of my camp I the tent that I use is an REI um, quarter dome SL1 it's a one person tent and it's pretty light and uh, I've, I've not been out in any really crummy weather with it I did experience one time where it rained overnight on me and I stayed completely dry and the stuff in the vestibule stayed dry too um, but it's a nice little tent doesn't take too long to set up uh, and uh, inside the tent, um, as far as a sleeping pad, pad, what I have is a, it's a Nemo, um, I can't remember the exact model name, but it comes with a little pump sack uh, that you use to inflate it, and that works really well uh, for blowing it up, and, and uh, it's been very comfortable for me in the past. Um, the, uh, the sleeping bag that I have is a... Uh, It's a marmot, um, and it's a it's a 20 degree sleeping uh, sleeping bag. It's going to be way overkill for out here because uh, it's only supposed to get down in the 40s. But you know you can you can uh, leave it unzipped and get some ventilation and that sort of thing. This pillow that I have uh, is an inflatable pillow that I got from Outdoor Vitals, and they actually were having a promotion where uh, I got it for free and uh, just had to pay shipping and, but it's been a great pillow works really well uh, you don't want to over inflate it you know um, and so anyway and in the vest vestibule I have I keep my uh, my saddle bags uh, when when I'm not riding and they stay dry uh, like this before um, when I uh, when I had some rain overnight and it's supposed to rain on this trip too anyway that's my tent and here's my campsite the bike that I use for my bike packing uh, I got back in 2016 it's a 2017 model Trek it's a cross rip 2 and it's a model they don't even sell anymore um, I think they uh, replaced it with the checkpoint um, their uh, their gravel bike. I use it for all all round riding, um, and it, the uh, I wish you could fit a little bit bigger tire on it. I think I have a 700 by 38 on there right now, and that's about as big as it can handle. Uh, would like to have a little bit wider tire for you know when you get into a little bit softer gravel and that sort of thing. But uh, but otherwise it does pretty well, and I've been happy with it. Um, the bags that I have on there, um, this is a Ross wheel uh, frame bag. It's a small frame bag. Well, it's supposed to be waterproof, but it is not. I discovered that on one of my rides where uh, everything inside got soaked. But it was a rain that was a downpour for three hours, and and uh, you know my my rain gear soaked through and everything. So you know when it, it's difficult unless something is just flat made out of rubber uh, it's not going to hold the, hold the water out forever so anyway um, the uh, I have an X touring uh, handlebar harness that I've modified with some some homemade straps uh, that are a little bit bigger that marmot sleeping bag is pretty good size and uh, it's synthetic so it, it uh, doesn't compress down too much and so the bag that I use for this is right here and it's a 20 liter um, dry bag I got it at Walmart for nine dollars and it's not light 
but uh, it certainly looks uh, it's it's vinyl and it looks like it will hold up uh, and keep things dry uh, but that's where I keep my sleeping bag and I ride it between my handlebars and uh, and then I have the saddlebags that go on the back the panniers saddlebags whatever um, and so that's what that's what I uh, that's what I wheel out here on so I bought this solar charger at a garage sale um, a year or so ago and tried it out a little bit but I thought this would be a perfect opportunity to see how uh, see how it'll work on the trail if it'll give my uh, uh, power bank a charge while I'm riding today so anyway thought I'd give it a shot so in my frame bag what I keep is, from left to right there is my bike cable lock my headlamp tire levers bike multi-tool gloves bar mitts and allen wrenches so what's in my seat bag from left to right I have tire patches uh, more tire levers and another t multi tool co2 canisters and a spare inner tube the saddle bags that I use on my bike are made by Bontrager and they are I believe 27 liter they're called weatherproof they are not waterproof so when I uh, put my saddlebags together I always line them with a uh, contractor trash bag and and roll it up at the top and that keeps it everything completely dry on the inside uh, in my first saddlebag I have uh, notepad and pens that's where I keep my food sunscreen and my jet boil as well as the items that I use to start fires with if I need to um, so that's saddlebag number one in this second bag, uh, I like to keep additional clothes. I don't bring a lot, but, you know, another shirt and a pair of shorts. Uh, I keep my arm warmers and my leg warmers in there. Uh, I have my tent, my rain gear, tops and bottoms, uh, first aid kit, and toiletries. Uh, 